Hello everyone, this is Mike History 2, and today I will be talking about the Rice Riots of 1918. And yes, that is correct. Not the race riots, the Rice Riots of 1918. So what were these? These were a series of riots that erupted throughout Japan from July to September 1918, which brought about the collapse of the Terauchi Masatake government. So, why were these riots happening in the first place? Well, a large increase in the price of rice caused extreme economic hardship especially in rural areas where rice was the main food. Farmers who compared the low prices they were receiving from government regulation with the high market prices were very hostile to rice merchants and government officials who had allowed the price to spiral out of control. Inflation was also spiraling out of control, which also affected most consumer goods and rents, and so city dwellers were also angry. The Siberian intervention further worsened the situation, with the government buying up existing rice stocks to support the troops, which further drove rice prices even higher. The government intervention in economic affairs caused rural protests to spread to towns and cities. The rice riots were unparalleled in modern Japanese history in terms of scope, size, and violence. The initial protests happened in the small fishing town of Uzu, Toyama Prefecture, on July 23, 1918. It started with peaceful petitioning but quickly escalated to riots, strikes, looting, incendiary bombings of police stations and government offices and armed clashes. In 1918, there were 417 separate disputes involving more than 66,000 workers. Some 25,000 people were arrested, of whom 8,200 were convicted of various crimes, with punishments ranging from minor fines to the death penalty. Taking responsibility for the collapse of public order, Japanese Prime Minister Terauchi and his cabinet resigned on September 29, 1918. So that was a really short video, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.